Hello everyone and welcome back to Anxious Speed. Today we're going to do a candy corn inspired get ready with me. Let's get started. Alright everyone, this video is not sponsored anyway, it's just me and my opinions. Like I said, we're going to do a candy corn inspired eyeshadow look here. I got my candy corn earrings in. The only thing I have on my eyes is the Pretty Vulgar Unchained Eyeshadow Primer until I use that all up. i put my headband on here. Alrighty. So guys, I always start with my eyes as you know. Take off the glasses. I'm going to go in with some mascara first today. This is the NARS uh, Climax Extreme Mascara here. There it goes. This is one of their mini ones that I had got in a giveaway that I had won. And that is that. So mainly for when I say like a candy corn eyeshadow look, I am going to just mainly focus on the eyes. But for today's eyeshadow palette here, I am using the Take Me Back to Brazil Rio Edition um, BH Cosmetics palette. As I have a hair on my nose. That's what it looks like, and then this has definitely been very well loved, but those are the colors in it. And first thing is, I am going to start with the white here, and what I think I'm going to do is put that in the inner corner of my eye, and then the crease as well. I'm going to get out a brush for the inner corner here. And then I am going to go ahead and use, I think, this color. It's kind of an off-white, but it's all right. We're going to go with it. And that's going to go right in the crease. Like so. Just like that. And then I'm going to also use the same brush and put this in my crease. And I'm really going to layer that on. And it is such a light color that I'm not even sure if it'll pick up on camera. All right, and then I'm also gonna mix that color just to make it pop a little bit more with this white shade down here as well. Using the same brush after I clean it off. Also putting that in the inner corner of my eye. So I'm not sure how well this is going to show up, but here's that color. Might be too clear to see, but that's all right. So now I'm going to get out a different brush in the outer corner of my eye here. I'm going to go in with orange. That's what it was, orange. I forgot it was the yellow orange, but it is orange. And I'm going to use this orange right up here. And that's going to be in the inner corner of my eye. Excuse me, I have it all backwards, but that is the inner corner of my eye. You guys couldn't tell I'm not a professional. I do this just for fun. And I'm only taking that about halfway. And then the same with the other side. All right, 
And then I'm gonna swatch out this brush, clean that out really good with my swatch pad here because I'm gonna use it again. And then now I'm gonna go on with this. Now this is more kind of like an off gold, but I'm gonna use it as a yellow, this shade right here. And that's gonna go in the outer corner of my eye. All right, and then I am gonna take a blending brush here and I'm just gonna blend all this out so it looks like it flows better. And then I'm gonna quickly use my finger and just kind of go over, over some of that areas once more, just kind of make sure that the colors pop. All right, so this is the color, or this is how my eyes are looking. Okay, and I think we are done with this palette, it is a very nice palette, guys. This is actually one of my favorites. If you have a chance to go out and get it, I suggest you do. Um, if you like colorful shades, this one will be for you. All right, guys, I went ahead and cleaned up my eyes off camera as well. Clean up my mess right over here. There we go. Now we're gonna move into face here. The first thing I'm gonna do is go in with face primer and I'm gonna be using two. I've been doing that the past couple of videos. Uh, first, I'm gonna go in with the Elf Acne Funny, or Acne putty or acne fighting putty primer. I said funny instead of putty and then I'm gonna go over top of that with the uh, Maybelline New York master prime uh, blur or no master prime Blur base base. I cannot talk today guys. I am so sorry Maybelline New York master prime blur and smooth primer I'm So sorry, I cannot talk today for some reason That was more difficult than what it needed to be All right, guys, and the reason why I use two primers, in case you guys don't know, is because I like the way the end result looks on my face. I do have a little bit of acne, so I feel like this helps kind of help it uh, smooth out my skin, and then this helps blur it. Um, I've been using other primers as well, but mainly I've been sticking with this first. I feel like it just helps make my face look a, bit, a little bit better under the makeup. It's just kind of like my personal preference. So yeah, I just wanted to explain that to you guys in case you didn't know. And then I'm also gonna go in with my concealer first before foundation. It's kind of another preference of mine that I've been really liking lately and how the look turns out. Uh, this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and I have mine in the shade Fair Warm. But mainly it's just all about preference and that's just kind of what I've been liking lately. And I don't really need too much, just about like that. And I'm kind of just tapping that where I have a little bit of blemishes here. Just like so. And then I'm gonna go in with my already damp sponge here and we are just gonna blend this out really well. Just like so. And blending it out on the side of my face here. Just 
skins to help out the process. So, I hope you guys are having a good week. Hope your week's going good. So far, my week's been going pretty good. Now, I am going in with foundation for today's foundation. We're using the Wet Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and this is in Dewy, and I have mine in the shade Porcelain. Now this is probably not the best way to do this, but with this one, it has a particular like spatula looking applicator. I just do this. Probably not the best way to go about it, but it's totally fine. This is fine, I'm fine, we're fine. There you go, we'll start with that and see where that takes us. What's nice about this foundation, it is so light wearing too. It's not like that heavy feel. I'm gonna add just a little bit more in some areas here where I think I need it. And then I'm also gonna take this down my neck a little bit. But yeah, like I was saying, so lightweight that you don't really feel it too much, which is awesome. I'm just pulling that down my neck here. All right, guys, so this is how we're looking. Okay, and we're gonna move on here. So now I'm gonna go in with the Real Her Ultimate Glow Getter Cheek trio and I'm going to use that as a light bronzer blush and um, highlighter it's nice because it's all in one it's travel friendly plus I love like that marble case it has so that's what it looks like so the blush is kind of almost non-existent because when this arrived to me via boxycharm um, it got beaten up in transit so the blush was pretty much crumbling out of there I used most of it or um, some of it that I could, but then most of it fell out. So we're just gonna be careful and try to get as much blush out of there as possible. But for bronzer, uh, the bronzer is called Incredible, but that's what that looks like there. And this is a little bit too dark for my personal skin tone that I think, but I am gonna just tap this out and just go in with like a real light hand and just just to give the littlest bit of color there. All right, and then I'm gonna go back in with my sponge here and just really blend that into my skin. See, it's a really pretty shade. It's just, I think it's too dark for me. As I beat my face here. All right, I think that's good. And now we're gonna attempt to go in with a little bit of blush we'll see how much I can get out of this because guys it's pretty much like gone but it's such a pretty color I think we'll be able to make that work hopefully put that on my cheeks
And then I'm gonna go in once again and beat my face with the sponge. And just for giggles here, we will add some to my nose, the end, because why not? There we go. All right, next highlighter in here. The highlighter is really pretty, guys. It's actually one of my favorites. Go down my nose. Cupid's bow. And then side here. Love it. Beat my face again. All right, and then we are done with that. We're just about done here. Now I'm gonna go in with some lip liner because guys, we are going in with a red lipstick today. I'm feeling like bold and daring. I am gonna go in with the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner in the shade Outlaw. That is a red. That kind of helped my lips from like bleeding or the color of the lipstick bleeding, I mean. I shouldn't say my lips, but like the lipstick bleeding. Just like so, I look crazy, but it's all right. All right, so I, yeah, as you guys can tell, I was swatching to try to find like the perfect red shade to go with this and I, a uh, lip liner, and I think I found it in this one here. This is the Tristique Mini Lip Crayon in the shade Chili Red here. Another one of BoxyCharms things that I had received. That's the color there, and then that is the color. All right, so that is the red. It's very pretty. Um, because my lips are a little bit on the drier side, it is getting colder here in Iowa, so the weather's changing, so my lips just decided they were gonna be chapped. I'm gonna go in with a clear gloss over it or relatively clear with like a little bit of sparkle. I am gonna be going in with the ColourPop um, Luxe Lipstick in Dreamy Much Lip Gloss over top of that. It's kind of what it looks like here. It has a little bit of pink hue to it, but I'm just gonna dab it on. And it does add a little bit of sparkle. Just like that. All right, guys, I'm gonna clean up my lips off camera and I'll see you guys back with the final look. All right, guys, so this is the final look. I'm gonna take off my headband here so I can show you what it looks like. But I actually really liked how this turned out. It's bold, it's fun, gives me candy corn vibes, like my earrings here. But thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It does help me out a lot. Also, if you guys wanna see more of me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button by hitting the little bell over there to see future uploads from me. Um, I really do enjoy doing this. This is fun for me. Uh, thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing, and just watching my videos does mean a lot to me. I'm gonna go ahead and just give you one last close up here. All right guys, thanks again. I'm gonna go ahead and head out for the day and I will see you guys soon with another new video. Bye guys.